Okay, I believe I'm live again. I'm gonna try to tune in on my other computer and see if I can see chat there. So I don't have to go back and forth on my computer. Let's see. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, coffee and code. It's a little bit late, but this is not my first cup of coffee. Um, first things first, let's talk about that thumbnail. That is the thumbnail of a man who does not know how to edit pictures very well, but <laughs> at least I'm learning. Um, and yeah, let's get to changing the scene here. Okay, so now you guys should be able to see my screen. And today I'm gonna go over the first project that I made kind of in my own time in Python. Um, it was like a little bit of a, it was a game and it was ASCII based, so it's all in the terminal. I didn't have any idea how to make like user interfaces at the time. So I figured whatever, I'm gonna learn something. And um, and I will just try making something by myself. So I threw the code on GitHub. This, it says 16 months ago, but this is just when I put it up on GitHub. I had the code for a while. Um, it's called Dankus Dungeon. Actually, it's pretty pretty cool if I remember it correctly. Um, the readme here doesn't tell you a whole lot of information, but it says you have to use at least Python 2. Um, actually, I need... I'm going to plug in a mouse. Code Harder, what's up, man? How you doing? <coughs> Thank you for stopping by. Okay, so yes, Danka's Dungeon, my first game. Let's open up a terminal screen. And I've made the text huge so that we can all see it nicely. And uh, let's clone it. So git clone github.com slash Dirk Sandberg slash Dankest um, What is it? Is it a dash? Dang is underscore dungeon. Dot get. Okay, so now I'll cd into dang is dungeon. And I've got a folder here called code. And then in my code folder, I've got all my files. And <laughs> I need to use Python 2. So this is my Python 2 um, version. So I'll just say Python. Dangus Dungeon.py. I didn't have a main.py. Um, I didn't use that naming convention at the time. Okay. So here is the game <laughs> that started off sort of my career in coding and software. Ouch. My head really hurts. God, what even happened? Where the hell am I? Last thing I remember was. I remember, I was walking back from the cliffs. Okay, seriously, I made all this art by myself and I was really proud of it at the time. Um, and I think it's I think it's pretty good, it's fun. You got this little guy here who's kind of like walking well, back from the cliffs. And, but a giant hole in the ground had been covered up. I fell through it, but how far down did I go? Uh, okay, let's see, there's a new qu question. Oh man, I have a question. Do you know if I can add ads in an app without first uploading the app on the Play Store? Yeah, you definitely can. You don't need to upload the app beforehand. Um, but I don't know how because I haven't put in ads on a Google Play Store on an Android app before. Okay, I fell through it, but how far down did I go? This is a crazy storyline. Best I can remember, really far. <laughs> and now I'm here. God knows where. It's a little chilly down here. Dank. The floor is tile. Feels like some sort of dungeon. The dank dungeon. Hehehe. <laughs> Ooh, the dankest dungeon. Yeah, yeah, that's got a nice ring to it. I suppose I should light a match, huh? 
then you'd imagine some sound effects here and then like boom so i made this years ago so apologies if the storyline isn't too immersive would you like to little save character so i had like a save character feature where you could just like it, it's basically saved your stats to a file just a text file and then um would read it back in if you want to load a save character i'm gonna say no we'll play from the start and here is the main interface. There's there's three levels, if I remember correctly. Maybe there's four. But I think there's three three like levels and the all sort of different mini games. This one you can see we have um, it tells us what floor we're on. It tells us um, level. This is my level as the character, the player level. So it's kind of like a dungeon crawler. Experience to the next level, damage, defense, health, gold, potions. So you can see we've got a little status bar here. And then we, we're keeping track of high scores. Um, today we actually aren't building anything. I'm just going over like my first project. And maybe this will give people who are sort of starting out, like, I don't know, some motivation to see, um, I don't know, where people start from when they're sort of teaching themselves how to code. Um, okay, player X. So this is like a little legend. And then I have a map here. So players X. So this is me in my little dungeon. Stairs S. So we want to get to the stairs. Monsters are O, wise old men are W, and doors are D. Okay, so I can see I've got my options here. What would you like to do? W to move up, ASD to move left down right. Um, I can use a health potion. I could read instructions, quit, or save the character. So let me read the instructions. Goal, get to floor five and escape the dungeon. You'll need to get stronger to leave the fifth floor, fight monsters to get stronger, Learn from old wise men to get stronger. Take the stairs to fight more monsters. You lose health when fighting monsters. Okay, pretty clear. Um, use health potions to get back some health if you need to. If your health reaches zero, you lose. Pretty standard stuff. So if I move around, you can see that my character, the X on the screen, is moving around based on what command I give him. And if I run into a monster, so if I go up, I'll hit this monster, and boom, we're into the battle scene. Um, I'm fighting a guard. Okay, guard was one of the harder monsters, if I remember. So I think I made like four or five monsters, and each one of them has different like health and damage, and I drew art for each one. This was a lot of fun. I remember spending hours on this art because <laughs> um, I didn't have anything better to do. But yeah, the guard, I don't want to fight right now because he's actually going to like destroy me. So I'll press 3 to run. And okay, let me go down and fight this other monster. Okay, a blob. Look at this blob. This guy is menacing, but he's actually terrible. He's only got 5 health and 1 damage, so I'm going to fight. Okay, cool. I did 1 damage. I'm going to fight again. So you can see every time I fight him, he loses one because I've got one attack. And I lose one because he's got one attack. One health. So I'll keep fighting. Cool. I won. Enemy killed. You gain one gold, some experience. So you can see my gold counter moved up. My experience counter moved up. I'm 3 out of 10. Great. A bat. Bat has one health and zero damage. Okay, this is not going to be a challenge. Um, okay, destroy the bat. We'll fight another monster. Oops, it's a guard. Never mind, I don't want to fight him. Okay, I'll go up the stairs. You stumbled upon a raggedy staircase. You naively decide to ascend. You reach floor two. Did you guys see the animation? That was dope. Okay, um, here. There's a little bug. I don't know if you noticed, but I started on top of a monster. <laughs> so that's a bug in the code. Here we can see we've got a wise old man up there. So the W stands for wise old man. So let's go talk to the wise old man, see what he has to say. Look at this guy. He's bald, and he's got a goatee. Classic. You encounter an old man with several strands of hair on his chin. He says he can supply you with things you may need. What would you like to do? We can buy health, or buy health potion. Let's see. We've got two gold there now. Okay. We can increase our damage. We can increase defense. 
We can leave and we can ask him, what are you doing here? Let's ask him, what are, what's an old man doing in this dungeon? A long, long time ago, I was standing on the cliffs above my hometown. I fell down a hole as I made my way back from the cliffs. Oops. What? That was so fast. How are you going to immerse in the story? Okay. Maybe you guys can read it quicker than I can read it. I fell down a hole. I grew strong in the dungeon, but never strong enough to beat the guard on level five. Whoa. Okay. So, uh, foreboding. There's a guard on level five that we have to defeat. Okay, well, I have two gold, so I'm going to increase my defense. Well done, Light Mongoose. You now have two defense. And then I'll leave. Oh, he didn't want us there. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, let's go fight another monster. Ooh, it's a guard. Never mind. Actually, I think if I go back to fight that same monster, yeah, it, it's random. So it's not a guard anymore. It's a zombie. The zombie has 10 health. And deal one damage, because I've got more defense now. I'll fight this guy. <laughs> fight him a lot. <laughs> okay, we beat him up. <laughs> Brings back Amiga memories. <laughs> okay, so we beat this guy up. Let's go fight this other monster. Another guard. I don't want to fight the guard. Let's try. Nope. Try again. Okay, a spider, giant spider. All right, this one I was most impressed with, with the art. Um, I was driving back with a friend from, uh, back to college. We were at his house for Thanksgiving. And I think I spent like three hours in the car just trying to draw this picture with like print statements <laughs> to get everything lining up and make him look kind of like a spider. And I think it worked out pretty well. Look at this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty sure that's correct. Spider's got eight legs. Anyway, he's pretty menacing, but not as menacing as us right now. So let's destroy this guy. Oh, I leveled up in that last fight. That's cool. Victory! Four more experience to level up. So you can see I'm level 2, because I leveled up at some point. And I'm 11 out of 15 experience. And every time I level up, my damage and defense goes up by 1. <clears throat> oh, there's another monster there? Okay, well now the zombie does 0 damage, because I'm too strong. So I'll just beat this guy up. I reached level 3. Nice. Okay. Ooh, my score is beating the high score. Epic. Let's go up the stairs. Look at the animation. Look at the guy walking. Look at him walking. That's so cool. This ASCII art is next level. Hey, thank you, Cantios. I appreciate that. It's pretty good, honestly. This was This is the first thing I ever did by myself. In school, I'd taken like one or two sort of programming courses. And I was like, wow, this is like cool stuff. I want to learn how to do it on my own. And this was the project that I, that I decided to take on. And I spent a lot of time with the ASCII. And I'm, I'm proud of it, honestly. This was... Um, I think this was five years ago now. And maybe I'll look at the internals after I finish the game, but it's definitely not pretty inside the code. <laughs> okay, another bat. At this point, I'm going to use a health potion. Okay, I healed for 20 and I'm out of health potions. That's fine. I think I'm strong enough to go beat the boss on level 5. I'm level 3. Yeah, so I think you guys can probably... Oh, there's another wise old man. Oops, there was a there's a bat on the wise old man. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... Okay, so here we are. Let's see, I've got 9 gold. I'm going to increase my defense a lot. Just make sure that I don't lose versus the boss. And I can show you guys the other sort of mini-games. All right, let's go up the stairs. Oh, there was a monster on the stairs. Yeah, so when I was making this, I did not, <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to make it so like monsters and wise old men or stairs wouldn't spawn in the same spot. So there's a lot of overlap 
It's just random though. Um, okay, use the door. So we're at level five or floor five rather. We're at floor five. Use the door. Okay, so we're gonna get out of the dungeon. Wow. Oh crap! There's a guard here. Twenty-five health. Guard deals three damage. Uh oh, something's wrong. I can't see my status, my status bar. Is that because of the size here or something? Fight. Oops, I don't know. Bug alert. All right, we're fighting the guard. Hopefully, I survive. I do. I beat the guard up. Victory. Okay, we got another comment. Let's see. Well, I've written my first game in a quiz-based language learning app. But you could manner your own test. The tests were set to choose your own adventure style. That's cool. That sounds really good. That sounds like quite a project. So good for you. Hopefully you're learning a lot. That's that's always what I get out of these. You know, not many people see this kind of stuff. But when you make it for yourself, you really do learn a lot. Um, okay. We're out of the dungeon. And we've got a new cutscene. So, movie time. Boom. You burst open the, the dungeon door. A beam of light hits your face. Check. Okay, is that not clear that we've got our guy... And he's like, open this door. Here's a little door handle and the entrance to the dungeon. I'm so proud of this ASCII art. Maybe I should be an artist. You shield your eyes from the harsh sun. You've made it outside. Look at him. Look at him shielding his eyes. A little salute sign. Cool. We've got some grass, some clouds, the sun. Suddenly, you hear a thunderous crash from the dungeon. A giant has smashed through the wall. Okay, so we got a big old guy behind us. Minigame 2 is about to start. We're no longer in the dungeon. Giant is chasing. You're on the run. Okay, now this one. <laughs> we have a new legend. Player is X, so this is me right now. Obstacles are A, and items are I. You are on the run from evil. You can now jump over obstacles, pick up objects while running, or just escape. So, basically, here's our little, like, uh, game map, game screen. And anytime I, I can move up or down, I can jump, which, like, takes me forward a position. Like, I skip one. Um... Or I can just hit return to stay. And every time I choose an action, so I'll just hit return to stay, you can see, oh, like the screen moves to the left. So I can move up and down, and <laughs> the screen has like obstacles, and what the heck is this? Obstacles are supposed to be A, but I see all these O's. I think the O's are obstacles. So another bug, if you want to call it that. And if I jump, it should like move everything twice so now i'm right next to the obstacle or to the item so i'll just hit enter you grabbed an item it was a piece of gold not bad okay so i gained some gold unfortunately gold is no longer used in this game so it's not really helpful <laughs> but i have to dodge all the obstacles if i don't if i hit the obstacle oops i lost 15 health jeez 15 health is pretty substantial so <laughs> um okay i'm dodging all the obstacles Grabbing the items, piece of gold, another piece of gold. Um, okay, I have to jump to get past that obstacle. Um, another item, some gold. Uh oh. Ah, jump. The goal here is there's an item that you pick up that lets you escape. So the items are either gold, potions, or that special item. And I'm having trouble finding the item. So in this scenario, you can imagine the giant is thundering behind you, trying to catch you. And you're on the run, dodging all these obstacles. Ooh. Well, I can't go out of bounds. Oh, I'm about to get hit. Maybe not. Okay, grab another item. Jeez, all this gold. I don't need gold. The item I'm looking for is called the Super Boots. And when you get the super boots, 
Okay, I need to jump. You get to boost away. I think it's like a 10% chance to get the super boots. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this isn't like some old version that I uploaded to GitHub where the super boots aren't in yet. That would be really sad. Because I don't want to play this game forever. Where are the items? There are no items. Oops, I had another obstacle. Wow, I think I might have a bugged... Ver oh no, there's an item. Wow, that was just really unlucky. Okay. Items, gold. More gold. I want to get to the last level after I find the super boots. Because the last level is my favorite. Okay, man, I wish this wasn't kind of like bugging out every time I moved. That's too bad. I don't remember doing that. Where are the super boots? Jump, jump. Okay, get to the... Okay, I have to check the code. Um, Because I want to... <laughs> If the super boots aren't in here, then there is no point to doing this. Let's see. I think it's probably in this file. Maybe. Oh, it's definitely. You can definitely find it in the storyline. Because I think this has all the text. Yeah. Super. Super boots. Yeah, okay. There should be super boots in here. Sorry, this is taking way longer than I wanted. Uh oh. Can't go up. Okay. Oh, finally. I got the super boots. Okay. So now I have a new option since I found the super boots item. I can press B to use super boots to outrun the evil. Epic. We're going. We gotta go fast. What a meme. So you see we had the little animation where we flew by everything. And we're here. Your super boots run out of juice, but fortunately you're safe now. Up ahead of ways, you see a small archery range. I've always loved archery in games, so I had to make a little archery mini game. Okay. A robot greets you. Beep bop. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this, this robot was like my favorite thing that I made here. Um, I, just, <laughs> for some reason, just loved him so much, this little robot face. Beep, hello, traveler. No one has come to visit me for many years. Boop, I would love to make a new friend. Pop, look at how happy this guy looks. Tell him this is not the happiest looking robot you've ever seen. Perhaps I can invite you to play a game. Perhaps I can invite you to play Robo Boogie. Robo Boogie? What is Robo Boogie? Robo Boogie is what humans call archery, I boop, believe. I mean, isn't the storyline just great? I'm sure you guys are all so immersed right now. What a roller coaster of events. I know, this is really uh, taking you for a wild ride. Okay, what is your name? My name is Beep. I'm, isn't this guy so cute? I can't freaking believe how cute this robot is. I should frame this. Okay, so his name is Beep. Robo Boogie is archery. So I guess we'll play some archery. Alright, we've made the guy very happy. Thank goodness. I'll teach you how, friendly friend. This guy was just lonely. Just press the return button. <laughs> To shoot the arrow. Okay. The wind is blowing strong today though. It might be hard to aim. Try to hit the bullseye or it spots just around it. Okay. So this mini game. We've got our little archery board up top. Um, the X is our marker. And what's happening is. At 
just random times our marker is like flying all around the place because the wind is blowing strong today, right? So we need to, oh shoot, I should have, I should have shot. So if I hit enter, you miss the target completely. Uh, oh yeah, so my instructions are return to shoot the arrow. Only press once, please. If you, if you press return a lot, it basically screws up the game. Okay, so you can see we have the bullseye here in the center and the area just around it. Okay, I'm going to shoot. Grazing shot. Oh, okay, grazing shot. So I'm hitting around the bullseye. And come on. Oh, oh, I missed it. Not quick enough. Grazing shot. Another grazing shot. So basically you just keep shooting. Oh, oh, I got the bullseye. Wow, you are the hay bale champ. Game over. So that's it. That's all I got. Unfortunately, that last uh, archery part doesn't work on Windows, so it only works on Mac. Um, but yeah, Giants, Robots, this game has everything. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it only needed a princess to rescue. That would make it like a classic, a staple of the video game industry. Um, yeah, so that was just... Uh, the first project that I worked on by myself. The code you can see. <laughs> um, I had this one file, so I had storyline that had all of the ASCII stuff for the most part, and they're all in functions, so you could basically call the function and it would show the ASCII art. And I don't know. That's a that's an okay way to do it. I don't know how I'd do it any better now. So all of the ASCII stuff is in there. The main file. Oof. So at this point, <laughs> you might notice. Um, let's see. User. Oh, maybe I did use some classes. I don't. Oh, I think this is where I started to learn about object-oriented stuff. So, okay, I've imported all this. Oh, yeah, dang, it's dungeon classes. So this is, like, my main file, and I set up the floor. Yeah, floor.generateMonster. So I did do some object-oriented stuff. Wow, good for me. Let's go look at the classes. Dungeon classes. <laughs> okay. You know, for five years ago, this is not quite as bad as I would have expected. Although there are no comments. So I wouldn't really want to work with this at this point. We've got our player, not capitalized. Oops. Whatever. Hay bale, floor. Monster list. So these are all the monsters with their names and their stats class monster not capitalized <laughs> so it's not that bad but for five for, it's not that bad for five years ago but today I hopefully be able to do a little bit better than this okay yeah I think that's all I'm going to show for now just you know screwing around a little bit on a Saturday morning not too much to do um, hopefully everybody is staying safe and healthy out there because at least where I am, everything is like totally shut down because of the pandemic at the moment. So I figured I would just do a little something fun while I'm working on more of my standard videos. Um, the next video is going to be the GPS portion of the farmer's market finder app. So that's a, that's a really fun series. I'm happy about that one. If you guys haven't seen any of those, go check those out. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm going to cancel the stream and hopefully you guys have a good day and talk to you later.